Tools General Adhesive Attachment Fixture General Press Fitting Platform Base Mold Customized for the Emily Series General Handheld Roller Wheel Phillips Screwdriver ESD Plastic Tweezers and Vacuum Cup Check whether the proximity sensor rubber is properly installed on the middle frame. If the rubber is not properly installed, reinstall it. Take a piece of TP adhesive. Use the general adhesive attachment fixture to attach the adhesive to the TP. Place the middle frame assembly between the two platforms of the TP removal fixture. Use the vacuum cup to take the TP. Pass the LCD FPC through the middle frame and fold the FPC. Align the FPC with the middle frame and install the FPC. Use your hands to press the four edges with even force for 10 seconds. Take a piece of speaker adhesive and attach it to the front cover. Align the left side of the speaker with the front cover and install the left side and then the right side. Align the pad with the positioning rod on the middle frame and install the pad. For versions outside China, take a piece of MIMO antenna. Align the antenna with the position rod on the speaker and attach the antenna to the speaker. For versions in China, take one spacer, align the spacer with the position rod on the speaker and attach the spacer to the speaker. Use the tweezers to take a piece of flash rubber. Install the rubber to the PCBA in the correct direction. Gently press the rubber. Ensure that the rubber is installed in the correct direction. Align the upper left corner of the rear camera with the PCBA and vertically install the rear camera to the PCBA. Remove the residual thermal gel. Manually dispense gel to the position shown by the red frame using a 1 milliliter injector. Two to three minimum scales of gel must be dispensed. Remove the microphone release film from the PCBA. Pry the side button, battery and LCD FPC B2B connectors. Insert the right side of the PCBA to the buckle on the front cover assembly at an angle. Align the PCBA with the PCBA positioning rods and press the PCBA shielding cover on the left side to secure the PCBA to the front cover. Fasten the side button, LCD, FPC, and battery B2B connectors. Tilt the front camera head downward and install the front camera into the camera hole. Fasten the B2B connector. Attach the conductive fabric to the front camera. Smooth the exposed conductive fabric and attach it to the shielding cover. Align the upper left corner of the subsidiary board with the middle frame. Tilt the subsidiary board upward and insert it into the buckle on the middle frame. Place the subsidiary board flatly and align it with the position rod to properly install it. Secure the lower right corner of the subsidiary board to the front cover. Tilt the USB subboard and install it to the middle frame. Align the USB subboard with the two screw holes on the middle frame and secure the USB subboard in place. Fasten the main FPC B2B connector on the PCBA side to the PCBA. Align both heads of the coaxial cable with the RF bases and vertically secure both heads using ESD plastic tweezers. Ensure that the battery, main FPC, LCD and side button B2B connectors are fastened. Install the upper left and right buckles of the subsidiary support to the middle frame and then secure the lower left and right buckles. Take the PCBA support assembly. Tilt the upper end of the support and insert the upper end to the buckles on the middle frame. Press and push the support downward to secure the support. Use the Phillips screwdriver to install the 17 screws to the middle frame. If you use an electric screwdriver, it is recommended that you use a PH0000 Phillips bit and set the torque to 0.9 to 1.1 kilogram force per centimeter.
Use the adhesive attachment fixture to attach the adhesive to the rear cover. Ensure that the adhesive does not exceed the edges of the rear cover. Respectively, attach the adhesive to the PCBA and subsidiary board supports as shown. Use the vacuum cup to take the rear cover. Align the rear cover with the middle frame and properly install the rear cover. Use your hands to press the four edges with even force. Ensure that the rear cover is not tilted or deviated and the adhesive is not exposed. Use the press fitting base mold to perform the following operations. Place the assembled phone into the press fitting base mold and place the press fitting base mold onto the general press fitting platform. Rotate the handle of the press fitting platform until the handle cannot be rotated. Wait about two minutes and take out the phone. Use the handheld roller wheel to perform the following operation. Align the middle of the roller wheel with one edge of the rear cover. Properly tilt the roller wheel to fit the rear cover. Roll the roller wheel on each edge evenly for about 5 seconds and 4 times in total for each edge. Install the card tray and remove the TP protective film. Check whether the phone has scratches. Assembly is complete. Thanks for watching.